الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن التبع بحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد to proceed so today بإذن الله تعالى we will discuss the next القصة story in the book the title of which is يا محمد so you should have this opening up now. Ya khlaqu ta al hadid. So we have two words, tajir and al hadid. So first of all, uh, what type of words are these? Um, tajir. It's a noun. It's an ismun. Tajir or tajirun is an ismun. Al hadid is what type of word? Noun. Yeah. Uh, an ismun, a noun. So both of them are. Uh, so we have ismani, two nouns. Right? And that's important. Mm -hmm. And we know that there are two nouns because. Well, we know this one is definitely a noun. Why? Al. Because of Lamu Ta'arif. Right? Because we have Lamu Ta'arif and Lamu Ta'arif, Al, does not enter upon except an Isman. Isman. Right. So that is uh, an Isman. Then we have another Isman. Which without any harakat on it, we're not certain what it is, but if we understand what Tajir means, which is? Business. Merchant. Merchant or trader or businessman, then we know we have two nouns. Now, the fact that <laughs> we have Al upon the second and not on the first, what does this indicate? Mudaf. Uh, right, it's one of the indicators that this construct is an idafa. Because on an idafa, the al enters upon the mudafun ilayhi and not on the mudafun. So because this is an idafa which represents ownership or two nouns that are closely related, tajirun means a businessman, al hadid means uh, the iron. The iron. So what do these two? The Iron of the Merchant. Names mean? The Iron of the Merchant. Right. Uh, the Iron of the Merchant or the, the Merchant of iron. iron or the Trade of Iron. Right? The Trade of Iron. So, we know that there's a Fatha there, a Kasra there. What do we place on the Ra? Ya Akhlaqu. On an idafa, in its default state, the mudafun is going to be marfu'un. Ya yeah, uh, Arjan, that's good. Marfu'un. And the indicator that it is marfu'un is? Tanween and dhamma. Not tanween. The dhamma. Right? Alamatu raf'ihi. Adhammatu adhahiratu ala akhirihi. The indicator is adhamma upon the end. So we have tajiru al hadid. Therefore, it's going to be one kasra at the end. Hadidi. And why is it going to be one kasra on the end? Ya Muhammad. he is a. Always one kasra. Uh, is always kasra. Is always but a majorun. The mudafun ilayhi is always majorun. Akhlaq, you already look worried. We've just started. Right? We should know this. The the uh, the mudafun ilayhi is always a majorun, and here. 
The alamatu kasrihi or alamatu jarrihi, the indicator of it being majroor is what? The kasra. Al kasra. Al dahiratu ala akhirihi. A clear kasra upon the end. Tajir al hadidi, so very briefly. Tajirun is from which fetlun? Tajara. Tajara. Tajara means? He traded. He traded. It's the fetlun, the verb. He traded. Okay? So we said Tajara. Rajulu. Rajulu. Bil. Kutubi. Bil kutubi. Tajara a rajulu bil kutubi. Right? What does that mean, ya Muhammad? Tajara a rajulu bil kutubi. He the man traded. Don't say he the men. Say the men traded. Men traded with books. In books. Right? The present tense is yet juru. Yet juru. Rajalu bil kutubi. Right? It's important that we recognize what the root verb is, which is tajara. So, the ismun, or the most common ismun that you will know that comes from tajara is tijaratun. Tijaratun. Right? Tijaratun, which means? Sounds familiar. <laughs> no, no, not traders. Tijaratun. Um, it's mentioned, you would have heard it perhaps today, recited in Surah Al Jumu'ah. Or, Wa Ida Ra'al. Go back to your reading. Wa Ida Ra'al. إذا رأوا تجارة أو أو What's the next part of the ayah? لهوان انفضوا إليها وتركوك قائمة Right, so what's wrong with this, the way that I've written it? وَإِذَا رَأَوْ And when رَأَوْ What does رَأَوْ mean? Stop. رَأَوْ رَأَ is رَأَ is I saw I saw is رَأَيْتُ رَأَ is He saw He saw رَأَوْ is You saw They They saw and when they saw, so what's wrong with tijaratun here? We have the fi'lun, ra'aw. We have waw, al jam. This is known as waw al jam'i, the waw that represents the plural, which is the fa'ilun, uh, the doer. So we have the fi'lun, the doer. It needs to be a kasra. What? Oh. Ya Muhammad, if that's the fi'lun and that's the fa'ilun, what are we looking for? The mafulun bihi. The bihi. So what's the mafulun bihi? It needs to be fat two fatas. Right. And the clue was here. Lahwan. Wa idha ra'aw tijara tan. Aw lahwan in faddu ilayha. So what does it mean? And when they saw tijara tan, Trade, you know, an opportunity to make money. Yeah. Right? Oh, lahwan entertainment, idle entertainment. Then they hasten towards it. qa'imah, and they leave you, I, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, qa'imah, standing. Okay, is is that female because idols is female? Oh. Yeah, Muhammad, this is female yeah. because the noun, the ismun, is a female noun. 
Just like Sayyaratun is a female noun and Ma'idatun is a female noun. Okay, okay. Right? Do, do we, can we see it? This is, this is a Jumlatul Fa'liya that we know. Fi'lun, Ra'aw, Fa'ilun, Waw, Tijaratan, Trade, Aw, Harf Wa'taf, Lahwan, Entertainment. That is Mansubu. Now, the eye in Surah An Nur. Rijalun la Rijalun la Tul he him la Tul he him Tijaratun. Jara Tun Obey on. Right. Rijalun la tulhihim tijaratun. This ayah in Surah An Nur. Rijalun relates to the previous ayah. La tulhihim tijaratun. Why is tulhihim means it occupies them. So what is it? What does the what is the it here? Tijaratun. Tijaratun. What's the fa'ilun here? Tijaratun. The fa'ilun, the thing, tulhihim, that occupies them. Right? This verb tulhihim, you know it commonly in the uh, ayah. Uh, Alhaqamu takathur. Right? Surah so, Takathur Al Hakum Al Hakum Al Takathur Al Takathur meaning collecting, amassing Al Hakum it occupies you. Right? Here Tijaratun trade La Tulhihim it doesn't occupy them. Right? But here Tijaratun is Mansubun. Here Tijaratun is um, Marfu'un. So what's the third one that remains? Uh, Mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi. Oh, sorry. Majurun. <laughs> we need an example of tijaratun being marfu'un in Al Quran. Right? Rajan. Rajan, you should be able to give me an example, right? <laughs> But you, yes, you do. Oh. <laughs> You're the one, aren't you? <laughs> right. So Surah Saf. Hal adullukum? Hal adullukum ala? What's the ayah? Hal? Adullukum? Hal adullukum ala? Tijara, Tijara. So what do we place on the ta here? Tin. Tin. What? What's the rest of the ayah? Hal adulukum ala tijara tin tunjikum min azabin alim tuk minuna billahi etc. That ayah, right? Hal adulukum har hal harfu istifham. Hal is a harfu istifam. Adullukum, I direct you. Hal adullukum ala upon tijaratin, a trade, a business opportunity that does what? Tunjikum min adhabin alim, that saves you from a painful punishment. Right? So here we have an example of tijaratin, which is. In what state? Mansubun. Why? Because it's a mafulun bihi of Ra'aw. Here we have tijaratun, which is a marfu'un. Why? Because it's a fa'ilun. And here we have tijaratin, which is a majururun. Why? Because it's the ismu jarin. It's the noun that comes after ala, the harfu jarin. Right? Isn't that good, dear Arjan? 
Tijara in all three forms. And today, which is, what day is it today, uh, Muhammad? That's an easy question, Yawm, right? Yawm al Jumu'ati. Al and what do we read on Yawm al Jumu'ati? Surah Al Kahf. And towards the end of Surah Al Kahf, we yes aluna kan dil qaranaini. They ask you about Dhul Qaranain. Say, I will tell you a matter about him. When he went on the third part, which is mentioned by Allah Azza wa Jalla, until he arrived at the point between the two mountains, and they complained about the facade of Yajuj and Majuj. So he told them that he would build for them a wall. What's the first thing he said to them? Atuni. Atuni Zubar al Hadidi. Right? Atuni, give to me Zubar, which are pieces, Al Hadidi, of Al Hadid. Why? Because, first, in order to block the passage between the two mountains, he was going to fill it with. Or he did fill it alayhi salam with pieces of iron, which is where we get to Al Hadid. The next word in our title, Al Hadid, which is mentioned. In fact, Allah Azza wa Jalla, what did he do? Did he not name an entire surah of Al Quran called Al Hadid? وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدَ فِيهِ بَأْسٌ شَدِيدٌ وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدَ And we sent down Al-Hadid And the ayah in Surah Sad regarding who? Dawood alayhi salam Did he not? وَأَلَنَّا لَهُ الْحَدِيدِ One of the benefits that Allah Azza wa Jalla gave to Dawood alayhi salam one of the karamat, the miraculous occurrences was وَأَلَنَّا لَهُ الْحَدِيدَ We made iron soft in his hands alayhim as -salam. Right? So, remember the Tajir al-Hadidi means Merchant of iron The iron merchant Okay, so the next time you encounter Tijaratun or Al Hadid in Al Quran, remember the meaning and look for the state that the word is in. Right? So, how does it begin, therefore? Tajir Al Hadidi. Oh, Read it. The title is Wajarahu, I think. Oh, sorry, we forgot Wajarahu, didn't we? Yeah. Tajirul Hadidi Wajaruhu. Right, that's right. Wajaruhu. Wajaruhu. So, Wajaruhu. And his neighbor. What? And again, wawal ataf jaruhu. What does jaruhu mean? Neighbor, and who is his? Jaruhu means jarun means a neighbor. So jaruhu means his neighbor. His neighbor jaruhu. Ya khlaq, why do you look worried? Mm -hmm. Right, wa jaruhu. And his neighbor. Note that we vowelize it or we render jar marfu'un. Why? Because the meaning is then the iron trader and his neighbor. Right? If we were to render this wajarihi, wajarihi, then how would that change the meaning? Wouldn't that be wrong though? 
No, because this wall here that we're going to speak about actually in our next lesson, wall atif, this harf, what it does, it's a means of connecting two nouns together or two verbs together or two uh, sentences together. And the reason for its connection is in order to share between the two parts that are connected two matters, al-hukamu and al-i'rabu. The ruling upon the, the, the two parts that are connected and their grammatical state. So, if we, if we take that into consideration, therefore, wa now connects jar to which two words either it connects to which word either it connects it to tajiru or it connects it to al hadid right if it, if if jar is connected to tajiru there's going to be a dhamma on it and it's going to mean tajiru al hadidi the iron trader Wajaruhu and his neighbor. If we connect Jar to Al Hadid, then it's going to mean the iron trader and his neighbor. And his and his meaning and trading his neighbor. Right? Because Al Hadid is what he's a trader of. So it becomes a trade of Hadid and his neighbor, which obviously is not a good meaning or even a correct meaning taking into account our story. So we don't vowelize it, Tajir al Hadidi Wajarihi, we uh, vowelize it Wajaruhu. Okay? And that, that Ismun, Jar, it's mentioned in Al Quran too. <laughs> Surah Al Nisa. Wa abdullah wa la tushriku bihi shay'a. Wa bil walidain ihsana. Wa bidil qurba. Wa al yatama wa al masakini. Wa al jari dil qurba. Wa al jari al junub. Wa sahibi bil janbi. The jar is mentioned about the, the category of people that you have to be good towards. In fact, Jari, Al Jari Dil Qurba, the neighbor who is close. Well, Jari Al Junub, and the neighbor that's distant, both. Right? In Surah An Nisa. So, that is our title Tajir Al Hadidi Wa Jaruhu. So, to begin, therefore, the first part, Ya Muhammad. Kana. 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 Hunaka. Hunaka. Right, what we're going to do is move Wajarabu up here. Tajul Hadidi. What? Jarabu. Right, Kana Hunaka. Tajirun. Tajir. Wa in the who? Ton 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 I never vowelized it in order that we can ask you. Sakana is Fetlun Nakis Mardin. It's a past tense verb which is Nakis deficient because it has an alif that we know. Uh, then we have Hunaka. What does Hunaka mean? Or what type of word is it? Over there. There. What does it mean there? Over there or there. What type of word is it? Is it an ismun fi'lun harf? Is it uh, adverb of place? Right. Um, 
there seems to be a difference whether it's uh, ismul ishara or it's dharful uh, makan, right? But nevertheless, it's an ismun that represents there. Then we have tajr. So the first issue is is ya orjan what? Do we place upon the ra in tajir? A fatha. You want to you want to place a fatha on it? Why would you want to do that? No, no, don't just guess why, uh, Arjan. I'm just thinking is it because of the verb before it? Why? Right. Well, kana. Yeah. Kana means. He was. he was or it was or there was right but we know that with kana we have two parts we have ismu kana and khabru kana okay we have ismu kana and we have khabru kana ismu kana is always marfu'un Right? And Khabaru Khan is always Mansubun. So, uh, which one is Ismu Khana and where is Khabaru Khana? And that will tell you what should be on the Ra. What are we trying to say here? Khana Huna Katajir. There was a merchant. There was a merchant over there or there was a merchant there right so if that's the meaning that we're trying to convey what therefore will go on the ra no, um, yeah it's going to be marfu'un with tanwinu dammin why because it's ismu kana it is ismu kana right now the reason why you're slightly confused is because this mukana normally follows kana, right? But here it's been delayed. That's normal when you have hunaka, right? So what therefore is hunaka? It's going to be a mafunubi. Well, no. It's actually it's not khabru kana either. But we're not going to explain why. What we say it's muta'alik. Be khabr al mahdhuf taqdiruhu ka'in. It's connected to the khabru kana, which is not there. Right. So kana huna katajirun just means there was a merchant there. Right. Wa inda. Wa inda. What type of? Kalimatun is inda. Ismun, fi'lun, harfun. Fi'lun. A fi'lun. Ismun. Fi'lun, yeah. No, it's dharf. Dharful makan. Wa inda. Who? What does it mean again, sorry? With. With. A, a location. With. Him. Wa indahu and with him. What was with him? Tan. Tan. So is it tanan, tanun, tanin? Wa indahu. Tanna. Tan. Ya Rajan. Ni. Ni. Well, is it the half? What in the who? The in the in the is dharful uh, makan followed by the minu mutasilun who in the who that's an idafa. What in the who? So therefore, tanun is the kasra. Tanun. Why would it be anything other than marfu'un? What in the who? Tanun. Min. Min means from. From Min and then the easy one, Yarajan Al Hadid Al Hadid 
Uh, is it be the cash for the bottle? Yeah, and what does it mean? Right. Okay. Now, min, we have what we call iltiqa'u asakinaini. Iltiqa'u asakinaini means two sukuns meeting. That cannot happen, therefore, that sukun becomes a fatha. And we say min al hadidi. Right? Kana huna katajirun wa indahu tannun min al hadidi. So, what does that mean, Ya Muhammadu? Um, there was a merchant there, and with him, would you say was here, was a ton from iron? Right. Wa indahu tannun min al hadidi. There was. A tajirun, merchant. Wa indahu and with him tannun, a ton, as in a unit of measurement, tannun min al hadidi of iron. Right now, it's very common this type of expression, min al hadid, not min al hadidi, but that principle of if you want to 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 represent an amount in Arabic. You say min and then whatever, right? Min al qumhi of wheat, right? Min al taami of food, right? Min al ma'i of water. Okay, that's a very uh, common. So rather than mentioning a specific amount, like a unit of measurement, like it, well, we do have tanun here, but it's, we we say min al Hadidi of something, right? Now, uh, also, if we wanted to say, for example, there was a boy, and with him, a book. Okay, we wanted to say there was a boy, and with him, a book. We would say um, there was a boy, so Kana. Kana. Hunaka Waladun Bil Kitabi Wa Indahu Al Kitab Al Kitabu. If one to say there was a girl and with her a book would say Kuntu Kanat Kanat Hunaka Bintun. Wa indahu. Wa indaha. Wa indaha. Mm, uh, what was it? A book. A book. Uh, kitabi. Kitab. Al-kitabu. Right? The book or kitab on a book. Right? So that kind of phrase is very common, isn't it? To say that there was so and so and with him was such and such an item. So remember this and then try and use it. To explain or describe where people are and what they have, right? There was a student, and he had with him a pen. كان هناك طالب وعنده قلم. Right. So the next part is Ya Muhammad. في أحد ال في أحد ال أو أحد ال Al Ayam Safara 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 Zalika Zalika Safara Zalika Altajir Medina Baida T Right Fi In In Ahad Ahadun means One Everybody knows Ahadun, right? Qul huwa Allahu Ahadun One 
Okay. Fi ahadil. What does al ayyam mean? Of days. The days. Right? The days. Fi ahadil ayyami. Why is it ahadil ayyami ya akhlatu? Sorry? Yeah, right. That's why we say ahadil. Why is this al ayyami? Because it's an idafa construct. Two nouns closely related. Ahadil ayami. Right? Fi ahadil ayami. Then we have safara. Safara. Safara, ya arajan. What does safara mean? Traveled. He traveled. And therefore, that is what type of word? Fitlun. So, whenever we have a fitlun, what do we look for next? Fa'ilun. Thank you, Arajan. We look for the fa'ilun. And how do we recognize the fa'ilun? What what do we look for when we when we're looking for a fa'ilun? Are we looking for a fa'ilun? When we're looking for the doer, what type of word are we looking for? Ismun. An ismun, which is a marfu'un, and the indicator that it is a marfu'un is the damma. So. Which word is it going to be? Fi ahadil ayami safara dhalika dhalika tajiru We know what atajiru means, right, Arjan? What does atajiru mean? You've forgotten, it's there. The merchant. So who is that doer? Who is the one who safara? Right, except that's not the doer, that's not the fa'ilun. What's the fa'ilun? If, if a tajiru is not the fa'ilun, what's the fa'ilun? I understand why you said that, but what is the fa'ilun? He travelled. Dhalika. Dhalika is the fa'ilun. Is it a hidden fa'ilun? No, no, it's not hidden, it's there. Dhalika is the fa'ilun. Why is the dhalika the fa'ilun? Because when we say safara dhalika, okay, imagine if the tajirun was over there, we could see him, right? And I said to you, safara dhalika. Would you know who I'm referring to? You would, wouldn't you? Because you could see him. I wouldn't have to say Safara Dhalika Tajiru, would I? Because you know. Just if I say if I say to you, the word in Arabic for black is aswadu. If I say to you Hadha Aswadu. Hadha Aswadu, this is black. Do I have to say Hadha al Qalamu Aswadu? This pen is black. Is that necessary? No. All that I need to say is Hadha Aswadu Safara Dhalika. Right? So, Dhalika is it is the Fa'ilun. But first of all it's not Marfu'un, is it? Doesn't change. It's not marfu'un. Why is it not marfu'un? Because dhalika is what we call mabaniyun. It's fixed. We say it's mabaniyun al fathi. It's fixed upon a fatha. So it can never become anything other than dhalika. Right? Okay? So, just as if I said to you, 
على على ذلك هايد القلم القلم على ذلك the pen is on that book right the pen is on that book القلم على ذلك الكتاب ذلك is here على is here right على is a حرف جر what does a حرف جر do to an اسم يا رجال Make it majroon. Makes it majroon. Has this become majroon? No. It's always in that form. We're not going to say always in that state. It's always in that form because it's mabniyun. It's fixed upon that fatha. Right? Similarly, if I said to you, Ra'aytu dhalika. Ra'ay. تو ذلك رأيت ذلك الكتابة رأيت I saw ذلك I saw that رأيت we now have the فعلون and the فائلون so what's the مفعول به ذلك but is ذلك منسوب no, most people say yes at that point because they see the fatha, but it's not mansubun. Here, safra dalika is the fa'ilun, right? But it's not marfu'un. Here, dalika is majrurun, but it's not. Similarly, the dalika is maftuhun, but it's not. However, for our purpose at this stage, there's a term that we use to describe this. We say that it is fi mahalli fi mahalli raf in raf in. في إن محلي the position رف إن of being مرفوع that we say is في محلي رف إن فاعل right this is في محلي in the position of نصب نصب which means منصوب and that is, sorry, no, no, that's jarrin. That one's nasbin uh, because it's a mafunun bihi. That one's jarrin. Now, the reason why this might seem a bit complicated is because up to this point, okay. The state, the Arabun, has always been represented by what? Which by, by a vowel on the end. Right? That's how it's always been represented, isn't it? That's why Al Hadidi is Majururun, isn't it? No. Right? And that is why Tajirun is Marfu'un. With a dhamma. But in Arabic, this is a bit more complicated. Slightly, right? But in Arabic, there's another area in which when a word such as dhalika or hadha or the other types of words which are fixed, mabniyun, when they are now the doer, the fa'ilun, or they're the mafulun bihi, fa'ilun mafulun bihi, or they are the ismu 
jarin, they're the ismun that comes after a harfu jar. When those types of words occupy these positions, we can't represent their state with a vowel, can we? Why? Because they're fixed. Because they're fixed. You understand the akhlaq? We can't represent dhalika with a dhamma, even though it's the fa'ilun, can we? Just as we can't represent dhalika with a kasra, even though it comes after the harfu jar. Just as we can't represent dhalika with a fatha, even though it's a mafunu biha for So, how do we explain it in Arabic? We explain it by this concept. Fi mahalli, being in the position of being marfu'un or being mansubun or being majrurun. That's all we're going to say for the moment. Except that what happens when you have another word afterwards, another ismun after that, is that that ismun takes the vowel. Okay, so like the first sentence. So here, safara dhalika attajiru. And the reason why it takes the vowel is because of the principle of al-badalu that we're not going to speak about at the moment. But for, suffice to say that the word that follows it represents the word that preceded it in i'rab. Right? You might need to watch that again. So, is that the same thing with the first sentence? What, this one? It kind of takes a different... So, hunaka. No, no, that, that, that's a different rule, okay. right? So, if you're not completely confused now. Dhalika, <laughs> that, attajiru. That is marfu'un, not because it is the fa'ilun. But because it's, following a, it's a noun following another noun, it's the substitute al badalu of dhalika. Okay, but that we'll discuss later. Ela is the easy one, right? Rajan, you like haruful jarri. Two. Two. Medina means town. City. City. So therefore, ya Rajan, what do we place on the town marabuta? Dhamma. Dhamma. Yeah, Rajan, after Harful Jari, you want to place a Dhamma? Uh, sorry, it's a Majrul um, statement. Alright, so it's. How many? One or two? Uh, one. One. Two. Ila Medina Tin, and then we have. I think it's one. Baida Tin. Ya Khlaq. What, what do we place on the Tamarvuta here? What does Madinatin mean? City. City. Baida means? Baid. Distant. Why, is, why do we say Baida Tun? Baida with the Tamarvuta? Because it's qualifying Madinatin. Right? And Medina Tin is a male or a female word here of akhlaq. Female. What? Female. Female. Therefore, Baida Tin has to be female. Why? What's the relationship between Baida Tin and Medina Tin? It's, 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 it's not an idaf, is it? No, it's not yeah. an idafatun. I thought it was an idaf for some reason. No. It, it, how do we describe this relationship? Ila Medina Tin, Baida Tin. City far away. Right. But what's the relationship? Remember, it we've is, done this. It's following the same state. It has to follow the oh, same state. Sifatun. Why? Because it is. Sifatun. Na'atun or Sifatun. It's a description. It's an adjective of the Isman that preceded it. Right? Akhlaq. That bit's easy. A tall boy. Waladun tawilun. A short girl. Bintun qasiratun. A heavy book. 
Kitabun Thaqilun. Right? Ila Madinatin Ba'idatin and then Ila Madinatin Ba'idatin Wa Taraka Wa Taraka Al Hadidi Wa Taraka Inda Inda Jar. Right. So, what's happened now? Ya Muhammad, read it from the beginning and translate it. Kana Hunaka Tajirun. There was a merchant there. Wa indahu and with him Tonun Minal Hadidi. Uh, ton from iron. Right, a ton of iron. A ton of iron. Fi ahadil ayami. In one of the days, safara. 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 He travelled. Thalika. Thalika. Thalika tajiru. He travelled. That that. He travelled that merchant. That merchant that traveled. Merchant, he traveled Ila Medina Tin Baida Tin to a city far or distant. to a city distance. To a distant city, right. What Taraka? What does Taraka mean? Uh, it's a fitlun, so. Well, I mentioned at the beginning the ayah in Surah Al Jumu'ah. Uh, what tarakuka aima tarakuka taraka he take place left what taraka and he left Al he left what Al -hadidu. right the we have a fitl on taraka ya arjanu what do we always ask ourselves when we have a fitl on what's the fire who is the fire on here who is the Fa'ilun? Who is the one who is leaving? Or what is he leaving? Al Hadid. Right. The, the merchant is the doer. Okay. But it's not mentioned here. We have a new sentence. Wataraka. <coughs> so it's assumed to be Hua. Wataraka Hua. <coughs> But who is Hua? Hua is the Atajiru. So the first question we ask, who is our Fa'ilun? Well, our Fa'ilun is Hua. Who is or what is it that he left? The next question, what did he leave? Ya Arajanu. Al Hadid. So if Al Hadid is the thing that he left, therefore Al Hadid is the grammatically. What is Al Hadid? Huh? Ya Khlaq? Not the Fa'ilun. The Fa'ilun is the person who did it, which is who? The Fa'ilun. The what is Al Hadid? The mafulun bihi, the mafulun bihi, the object. Al hadi da, al hadi da. He left the iron. Inda with with jar. Now do we say jaruhu? Jarahu or Jarihi. What type of word is Inda? It's a Dharf. Dharf. al Makan. So it's an Ism. Whenever you have a Dharf al Makan, what effect does it have upon the Ism that follows it? 
makes it uh, majrurun. Why? Because it's an idafa construct. In the jar rihi. In the jar rihi. Watarak al hadida. In the jar rihi. So what does that mean? And, yeah. And he left the iron. And he left the iron. His neighbor. In the jar rihi with his neighbor. Right? He left the iron with his neighbor. Right. So, we need to use these words to create our own sentence. And we want to say, in one of the days, I traveled to a distant city and I left the iron with my neighbor. So it's very similar to this, but what's the difference? We're now making it first person. So, how do we say this? In one of the days, well, that's the easy <coughs> bit, right? Because that's here. Fi ahadil ayami. I traveled to a distant city. Safartu. No, no. I traveled, so we don't need the dalik okay. tajir. Safartu ila Madina tin. Ila Madina tin. Baida tin. Wa taraktu. Al hadidi in. Al hadida. Al hadida in the jari. Jari. In the jari. In the jari. Okay. That's good, Muhammad. في أحد الأيام سافرت إلى مدينة بعيدة وتركت الحديد عند جاري. Right. So if we wanted to change that and say, in one of the days I travelled to a distant land. And I left the iron with my neighbor. How would we say that? In one of the days, I traveled to a distant land. Akhlaq. Fi ahadil ayami. Yes. Safartu. Safartu. I traveled to one of the distant cities. No, a distant land. Land. Land or Baladin. country. Baladin. Baladin. Ila Baladin. Ila Baladin. Then what's the next bit? Baid. Distant. Baid. Baid. Ila, ar, ila Baladin. Baidin. And I left. What ta tarak to? Al Hadid. Al Hadid. Yes. Hadid. Al Hadid. In with my neighbor. In the Jari. Jari. In the Jari. So, Ya Arjanu. <laughs> Your turn. Dawruka. You're not stuck. You haven't started yet. In one of the days I traveled. To a distant land, but this time you're not going to use baladin, you're going to use ardin. Ardin means land too. And remember that ard, ardun is a female word. Even though there's no indicator. Like the ayah in Surah Al Ma'idah. أُدْخُلُ الْأَرْضَ الْمُقَدَّسَةَ الَّتِي كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ The statement of Musa alayhi salam to the Israelites Enter the sacred land Right? So, Ya Arjan, you need to say 
I traveled to a distant land but using Ard and I left my wealth Malun is wealth my wealth is Mali with my neighbor right begin في أحد الأيام سافرت. لا، stop. you've all said سافرت. 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 إلى. إلى. distant land. إلى ب. لا. أرض. أرض. إلى أرض إلى أرض بعيدة بعيدة good you made it female إن وترك ومالي no no I left I left وتركت وتركت مالي مالي إن جاري إن جاري إن جاري right so as is always the case, you need to practice reading, understanding, and then conjugating the verbs to create new sentences, but from a different perspective, like I, you, he, she, and then to substitute the words to make the sentence different and more interesting and more than that relevant so if there was something that you did today right that you can use one of the obviously not that you traveled anywhere but remember the other word for uh, going is ذهبه. everybody went somewhere today right ذهبتو إلى عملي I went to my work ذهبتو إلى المسجد I went to the mosque ذهبتو إلى المدرسة I went to the school ذهبتو إلى المصنع I went to the factory and so on and so forth you need to start formulating sentences to describe what you did right so any questions And we shall conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Shadu anaha inaha illa anta staffruka wa atubu ilayk.